Darn Angelo aka the pop culture boy who says is TikTok really ruining music? I cannot wait to see his take on this. Let's see what he says. TikTok is one of the most popular video sharing apps on the planet, surpassing 2 billion mobile downloads in 2020. Everyone and their grandma has a TikTok, and its rise has prompted other social media platforms to make their own versions. Mm -hmm. YouTube created YouTube Shorts, and Instagram created Instagram Reels in an attempt to get a piece of the short video format pie. Although the app is loved by many, it's also hated by a lot of people for a lot of reasons, mm -hmm. like the psychological effects it may have on the brain. Many also accuse the app of being racist. But for this video, I will focus on the popular opinion that TikTok is ruining music. TikTok is changing music, there's no doubt about it. Many artists have gained success with their songs because of going viral on the app. Look at Lil Nas X and his breakout hit, Old Town Road featuring Billy Ray Cyrus. It entered the Billboard Hot 100 and became the song to spend the most weeks at number one 19 weeks after it became a meme on TikTok. Doja Cat Say So went viral on the app as well due to dance videos prompting her label to release the track as the fifth single from her second studio album, Hot Pink. And we all know that Say So was a huge hit as well because of TikTok. And let's not forget Gail's top five hit, A, B, C, D, E, F, U, also blew up because of TikTok. And I'll talk about Gail more in a bit. TikTok has become essential as it's beneficial to artists signed to a major and even indie artist. Edith's Whiskers, an independent artist that saw success on the platform after covering Home by Edward Sharp and the Magnetic Zeros. The cover currently has over 200 million listens on Spotify, all because of TikTok. TikTok <laughs> is fairly new. Why the is app's it initial release was in 2016. It's owned by ByteDance, a Chinese-based company where it's known as Dayun. So TikTok <laughs> is just the international version. Now, there are actual reasons why people think TikTok is bad for music, so let's get into that. The artificial organic blow-up. Case in point, Gail, whose song A, B, C, D, E, F, U, a song I actually like, blew up on TikTok and peaked at number 3 on the Hot 100. Gail uploaded a video on her TikTok on July 28, 2021, asking her followers to comment song ideas. The next day, the singer would post a video replying to Nancy Berman's comment that read, Can you write a breakup song using the alphabet? In the video, Gail performed an acoustic version of A, B, C, D, E, F, U. Then, the song was officially released on August 13, that same year. This right here is one of my 18 audiobooks that I own. It made 82 sales last month on Audible. <laughs> TikToker Daniel Wall would later call the TikToks inauthentic Ooh. and a marketing ploy when he <laughs> discovered Nancy Berman, the lady that commented, was not a fan but a digital marketing manager at Atlantic Records, where our favorite girl, Gail, is signed. Atlantic Records would confirm to Newsweek that Gail and Nancy did knew each other, but the video and comment were genuine. They denied it was a marketing ploy and that mm. the song received a small amount of attention after the initial TikTok video and weeks later on its release, but that didn't even scratch the surface of what was to come. They continue to say, ABDCEFU truly took off months later in November 2021 after a TikTok video translated the song in American Sign Language went viral. In case you did not know, TikTok is all about getting your point across quickly and people do not like the fact that this is influencing songs by major artists. Songs are specifically being made to trend on TikTok. All of Chloe Bailey's songs, some of Summer Walker's tracks, songs from Post Malone's last album, and even more artists, their songs are under three minutes. Songs are getting shorter and shorter. And people like the period of, uh, period ah uh, girl, now has a huge platform while upcoming and more respected acts are getting little to no coverage. 
Back in May, Halsey would upload to her TikTok explaining they wanted to release a song, but their label won't let they release it unless they can fake a viral moment. The video had text that read, everything is marketing, and they are doing this to every artist these days. I just want to release Music Man, and I deserve better to be honest. I'm tired. And Halsey is not the first artist to speak against their labels. FKA Twigs, Florence and the Machines, and Charlie XCS have also complained publicly about the demands of their record labels. Anyway, Halsey would post a follow-up video, which to me seemed like damage control because I'm sure her label was not happy about the video prior. In the follow-up video posted on May 22nd, had the text, I wish I was kidding, lol. In the video, you could only see Halsey and you can hear a voice in the background talking to her and there wasn't anything fishy based on what the other person was saying. It was probably someone on her team. It just sounded like standard promo stuff, if you ask me. Recently, Steve Lacey, who currently, at the time of making this video, occupies the number one spot on the Hot 100 with his single Bad Habit, was performing the number one song in America on tour. While performing, he stopped singing the chorus so the crowd could sing it, and they did, but when it came to the verse, the crowd went quiet, and Twitter had a field day, and many blamed TikTok. I personally wouldn't blame TikTok because most people after they discover a song on TikTok, they go to stream the full track on right. Spotify. Over 500,000 videos have included the track on TikTok, and when you check Steve Lace's Spotify, that habit has been streamed over 300 million times, so obviously people know the lyrics. Oh, wait, this is the one, didn't he come out today as bisexual and say he doesn't date black men or something like that and had Twitter up in the report? <laughs> I saw that today. Yeah, that is him. The Lacey Damn. should have read the crowd better because when they initially stopped, they started to cheer, which was his prompt to start singing. And you also have to remember, he is transitioning from a cult artist to more of a mainstream artist. He and most people, today, even your fans, only knows the chorus. But I must admit, it was a little bit weird because it's his tour. And I also want to add, I think most of his new fans are more enamored with his image. And the reason why I'm saying this is because there's a big debate that TikTok tends to favor only good looking people and just push them through their algorithm. Regarding the situation though, I'm not surprised and I don't really feel any way about it because Steve Lacey made his money help. He could have just sang the choruses and closed the show and they'll be satisfied. In my opinion, TikTok is not ruining music. I feel like it's mainly the music elitist fans that feel some type of way about the app mm -hmm. are saying TikTok is ruining music. The music fan that whenever they are asked who their favorite artist is, it's someone you've never heard of. They know every piece of music history and they think everyone should know it as well. Okay. People like to blame TikTok for causing shorter attention spans, hence shorter songs being released, which can be true, but people's attention spans have been decreasing yeah. way before TikTok. Exactly. It's been decreasing since the rise of the internet and people having the flexibility to move on to something else with just a click. And most people today are just casual music listeners and don't have the time to be passionate about music. If you are a content creator, you are encouraged to make your content as short as possible because people today value their time when it comes to entertainment more than ever before. TikTok is obviously something that people enjoy, short form content. And if people like a song enough, they will seek it out on Apple Music, Spotify, or whatever streaming services that they have for the full song. A lot of artists have seen success because of TikTok, and there are a lot of great artists on TikTok as well. Sure, TikTok has its cons. Stupid artists producing exactly. stupid music, overshadowing good ones. Exactly. Songs get downgraded into 15 seconds, losing their meaning, but hey, that's been happening before TikTok, yes. and it's not going to change anytime soon. That's been happening on YouTube and Twitter way before TikTok was even around. We have complained that artists made songs just for the radio. And just like how songs will go number one solely because of radio, songs will go number one solely based on TikTok. 
And maybe that's where the real issue lies with some people. I do understand the issue artists like Halsey have with the platform, but it's really just promotion. And that's what the music industry has always been about. The record label wants to make back their investment and more to keep the business going. Posting on TikTok to promote your music is no different from going on 106 and Park or TRL back in the day. It's actually easier if you ask me. The more I hear people say TikTok is ruining music is the more I think people are just saying it because it's become so popular to say so. What's ruining music is mainly the actions some artists are taking in their careers. So it's more like their music is being ruined, not music in general. So to blame the app, no, TikTok is actually helping music. Now, what do you think? Is TikTok ruining music? Do you agree with what I had to say or do you disagree? Let me know in the comments. Please subscribe to the channel. When you hit sub, select the bell, then select all so you'll be notified when I upload my next video. Okay. Yeah, make sure you go subscribe to Don Angelo. I love his, um, his content and so many others that do the same type of um, reporting on music industry things. But um, yeah, I agree. I agree and somewhat disagree. I do think in some instances it's, it's ruining music, but not necessarily, you know, I won't say ruining music. It's just, it's another layer of the change and transition we see in the times of how things are just not as they were with music artists Um, in the back, like in the past when you had radio and you had television and you had, you know, pure sales that were, you know, hey, I'm going to the store to pick up my favorite artist CD before they run out of it. You know what I mean? Versus now it's streamed, it is, you know, visualize it has all these different elements and layers to it it's confusing for some who don't get it or who maybe are not abreast of a lot of changes in marketing and things of that nature so i hate to see it i really do um i hate it to see songs begin to get shorter i hate that but i think if you are a fan of an artist it's okay for you to support that artist just support that artist you know what i mean you may not they may not make it as big as you want them to be um <laughs> a lot of my favorite artists people know who they are but they're still not big because they're not <clears throat> signed to these machines um but you know nothing wrong with those who are signed to the machines they got to do what they got to do because they're in contracts people forget that you know when it comes to business there are agreements and contracts and all kinds of other just craziness that gets thrown into the mix so if they want you to make a tiktok hit <laughs> you got to make a tiktok hit you know i think for a lot of artists now it's like let me do what i gotta do you got these damn contracts because that seems to be really what's ruining music, the business, the contracts, the um, antics, the pitting one against the other, that kind of stuff. But TikTok, you know, just plays its role in either marketing it or destroying it <laughs> or destroying you if you allow it. So, um, yeah, this was a good one. I do agree with you, Don. It's, 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 you know, people don't get it. People don't understand it. And, you know, they'll, they'll just dismiss it or say, hey, this is ruining it because that's the easy way out. And it's like, no, do some research, do some digging, look at the analytics, look at the trends look at you know what happened with things like vine and instagram when all of that stuff was new what happened with twitter when that was new like all of it you know it continues to repeat itself you know and pretty soon we might see another platform arise to kill tiktok i don't know that that will happen <laughs> i feel like tiktok might be one that's just not going nowhere um yeah i don't know because youtube shorts is not something that i participate in neither do i do instagram reel or facebook reels i don't really use tiktok um as a creator much i just watch <laughs> the funny stuff sometimes i do reactions over there but no for real i really don't use it it's just somewhere i go to see stuff and um yeah sorry that was my rant let's stop at this below comment like subscribe until next time peace